Hey guys, my name's Megan and welcome back to my channel. So we're back with a new episode with Gianna. We it's now the morning and we've woken up with the kids. And you know, today is a special day because we're going to be meeting our bachelors and our bachelorette. Okay, Ocean is off to grade school and we're just gonna take care of Blue for a little while longer until you know the babysitter gets here so we can go travel and meet our our contestants so go ahead and put on some perfume we're gonna put on a nice dress and look all cute this is very exciting she's already passionate so you know what let's go let's go let's go meet our possible husbands and our wife all right so here we are we are in Newcrest in a house that I built like forever ago if you're interested in that, let me know and I'll put it on the gallery. It's a nice big family home. All right, knock on the door and the first person we see is Lucas. So let's see how they vibe. We're gonna do a flirty introduction. And he's already a little sad. Do you like how I smell today? Yes, why do you even have to ask? He is a smooth talker, I must say. They're still having a pretty sad conversation. Let's see how she feels about him. She perceives him as basic looking, but he is giving a suggestive look and she has accepted his advances. So, you know, she can flirt with him as much as she wants for the time being. But let's go ahead and meet our other contestants. So we're going to go upstairs because I'm assuming that's where um, Mateo and... Aaron R. So we meet Mateo first. He's on a computer looking up aliens. He's a believer. You have to know. She's like, oh yeah, you like computers? I have a computer. Let's see. She also perceives him as basic looking. And he is also giving her a suggestive look. And he's single, obviously. But I think Mateo's being a little more forward. He gave her her he gave her his number. And it looks like they're going to go do some adult shenanigans. So, you know, the sparks are definitely flying. Our girl looks very smitten. I think she likes what she sees. And I think he does too. And look at them. She's playing the violin. And he immediately gets up to play the guitar. I didn't even make them do that. Like, it, it's, it was meant to be this entire time. They both make terrible music together. But we do have another person that we are supposed to be meeting. So let's go back downstairs and meet Erin. She's watching TV with Lucas and she does not look happy. She looks incredibly annoyed. She probably heard, you know, their adult business going on and she probably did not like that. She's a little crabby. She's yelling at Lucas. So yeah, maybe... We will not be, you know, trying out with Aaron because Mateo wants us to be his girlfriend. And of course, we're going to say yes. Like, of course. And she feels nothing for Aaron. So, you know, it works out. All right. Successful trip. We're leaving with a boyfriend. And it is 530. We need to get back to the kids because it is storming. And Blue is not feeling it. He hates it. It's so loud. Let's go ahead and give him some ice cream so he can, you know, feel a little better. But it is late. It is time for him to go to bed. So let's take care of our kids. We are exhausted. Look at us. We are so tired. It is past midnight. She is exhausted and needs to go to bed, like, immediately. Yeah, look at her. She's exhausted. It's time for everyone to go to bed. And I think in the next day, we are going to send the kids off to their dads. So, you know, they can have some time with their parents. So let's go ahead and call Makoa so he can pick up Blue. And we're going to do a little two-day visit because I believe on Sunday it will be Blue's birthday and he will be aging up into a toddler. And of course, we're going to call Akira so he can go pick up Ocean. And, you know, so... Gianna can get to know her boyfriend a little more. See, you know, if the sparks truly fly. So she's going to also go to, for a two-day visit. She's going to go to San Machino, have a grand old time. And, of course, Makoa is here because, of course, he just sticks around after he picks up his son. 
let's go ahead and tell Makoa about our new relationship and you know what's been going on he is still our best friend all right so we're gonna greet Makoa we haven't seen him in a while let's go ahead and announce our relationship you know because he is our son's father he should know who's gonna be you know possibly help raising blue so you know let's go out on the deck where you know it's a nice and warm sunny day and let's tell him like how his life has been so far no we just met a cute guy named Mateo he asked me to be his girlfriend and he's super super cute and Alexander Goff is telling us we need to go make some more music before we get dropped so let's go do that a few hours later we are sleeping and Mateo wants to go on a date so let's all right all right we are here at Malcor Arabia at a nice little bar and I can see that Kiyoshi Ito is our bartender so that's even better all right we're gonna greet Mateo and as I am editing this I am just now realizing she's pregnant I just saw the I just saw her belly pop and I see the moot lit I didn't notice that when I was playing that's crazy so our Gianna's pregnant once more she is a walking epitome of use protection or you'll get pregnant yep there is her bump and I cannot believe to stay woohooed all of one time and yes she is pregnant with a baby girl she's in her first trimester so you're not gonna drink that all right, it's a little crowded in the bar. Let's go outside. She is hungry, so we need to get the pregnant girl something to eat. Gonna eat some avocado sushi, cause you know, she can't have fish. She's like, oh my God, guess what? I'm pregnant. He's like, wow, that is crazy and wonderful. You know what, I love you, first kiss. Super, super romantic. This is their second time meeting and they're kissing. All right, it's time for the pregnant girl to go home because there's not a public bathroom in sight. And look who followed us home but Mateo. She's like, hey, go ahead and come in. We need to, you know, have some conversations. Okay, first of all, she is worried about putting on more baby weight, but more importantly, I think we should move in together. We're having a baby and it'll be way easier if we tackle this together. And he agreed. So to celebrate, we're going to watch a nice late movie. We're gonna watch College Cram on the couch. And look at these two. They are so freaking cute together. I'm honestly obsessed. Their daughter is going to be a little heartbreaker and I cannot wait. And of course, you know, it is very late. They're very much in love. And you know, they're gonna, they're gonna go do some adult things to, you know, Celebrate him moving in. Hey, wait, what can you do? There are some crazy kids who are in love. Look at them. They are so cute. Alright, so since we are having another child, we're going to do a quick renovation on the house. I do plan on possibly redoing the entire house because it's a little crowded right now. But enjoy this little mini for now renovation as we add an extra bedroom. Just one. 
this one here in the next episode Mateo is going to meet the kids and Blue is going to age up into a toddler and they're possibly going to have your baby so don't forget to tune in like and subscribe do all the YouTuber things and I'll see you guys in the next one bye pick and choose